Now, one thing we've really learned about cancer, which is this month's theme, is that cancer cells don't process sugar uh, in a normal way. What happens is a cancer cell reverts to what's called anaerobic metabolism. And they have less mitochondria, and it's the mitochondria uh, that normally make energy from sugar. And one way to give a cancer cell a very, very hard time is to completely um, deprive it of sugar. So eat a very, very low GL diet, that's fundamental. And also, cancer cells can't deal with a lot of oxygen, which is normally we process glucose with oxygen. And uh, so there's been some very good research where people go into hyperbaric oxygen chambers, which exist all around Britain, and you can literally book in and have a session, it costs about 10 pounds. So reducing glucose, increasing oxygen, gives a cancer cell a very hard time. Now, chemotherapy, uh, which really is not that effective overall, but is of course the mainstay of cancer treatment, uh, involves using substances that ideally should target and kill off a cancer cell, but not a healthy cell. Now a lot of chemotherapy drugs actually are very toxic and consequently people have appalling side effects they have to recover from. So it's a kind of pyrrhic victory if you can kill enough cancer cells and hopefully not the person at the same time. However, there are lots of natural cancer um, uh, agents, if you like natural chemotherapy, that are proving to be as effective but without the side effects, sometimes with no side effects. In other words, they don't damage healthy cells. One is very high dose vitamin C. And there's a bit of a debate about whether you need intravenous vitamin C to really get up to the high levels or whether you can do it orally with something like 20 to 30 to 40 grams a day. So we're talking high levels. Another wonderful uh, compound is turmeric. And recently there have been some very good new forms of curcumin, which is the active ingredient in turmeric. Artemisia is very good. There's actually an anti-malarial drug called artemisinin, which is the, the concentrate of this. There are some mushrooms um, that are very potent in Japan. They use a mushroom ex extract called AHCC. Uh, there are also other mushrooms like reishi and ganoderma and cordyceps, which are, are potent. There are a number of herbs that are potent. And I do write about all of these in my book, Say No to Cancer, and recently did a report on natural anti-cancer agents. And almost all the cancer experts that I've spoken to uh, recommend a multi-pronged attack. Uh, the big breakthrough is really in understanding that cancer is not generally caused by mutations in DNA. It's not caused by genes. It's actually caused by the environment around a cell. So what we want to do is to create an environment with very little sugar, lots of oxygen, tons of antioxidants, lots of vitamin C, and herbs and uh, substances, you know, for example, turmeric, curcumin, that make it impossible for a cancer cell to survive. So if you are dealing with cancer, do read the book, Say No to Cancer, get informed, I've done a number of articles in my newsletter and do have a read of the recent report about natural anti-cancer remedies. Thank you.